Hi everyone, Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com. Let me make sure that I'm, yeah, okay. Uh, Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com presenting our 132nd Quick Query Critique. Um, and this one, um, I will start reading, I was, I've got a couple new things coming up. Um, for those of you interested, the Southern California Writers Conference is next weekend. It's going to be fun. All right, let's go ahead and do this 132nd Quick Query Critique. Dear Blank, have you, ever, have you ever searched to redefine and reclaim your inner mastery of soul or made a conscious decision to walk in the divinity and power of love? The Light of Love is a nonfiction New Age expression designed to awaken an inner transformation which guides you into the inherent realizations which subtle presence carries you home. The complete manuscript is a gateway into the interior realms and depth of soul, reminding you to constantly remember the truth of who you are. As a licensed and practicing energy healer, my life transforms each day by the symphony of humanity's expression, experience strung together as a divine orchestration of unilateral potential. I'm sorry, unlimited potential. As a guidance of higher principles and dimensions carry humanity into the interior planes of one's divine inheritance, the heart yields to the inward calling of unconditional love. Through self-inquiry and an in-depth study into the universal spectrum of life, divine love redesigns the nature of existence. That which compels the nat natural influx of human experience brings to life the realizations which help you reconnect your intricate piece of the puzzle. Your divine design is uniquely originated as the truth of who you are, an infinite expression within the universal heart of love. The discovery is a song harmoniously synchronized within the melody of the eternal heartbeat of creation, challenging you to look within into the love that heals all fears and illusions. Within the sacred space, your unique aspect is reborn into the universal heart of creation. Thank you for these moments that you have dedicated to reading of this inquiry. The pages of this complete manuscript are open to you. Feel free to contact me by phone or email sincerely. Okay, so what do I think of the light of love? Um, you might have seen me uh, pause before because I wasn't sure if the um, light of love was called divine love or divine design, which I love the divine design, but that's um, already taken by um, a famous interior designer who's on, I think, HGTV, but it's, it's catchy. Okay. Um, so what do I think of this New Age um, nonfiction book titled Divinity and the Power of Love? No, I'm sorry, titled The Light of Love. Okay. The Light of Love is a nonfiction New Age expression. Okay. Designed to awaken an inward transformation which guides you into the inherent realizations which subtle presence carries you home. Okay. The reason why I reread that is because it's the second line and it pretty much defines what this book is. And um, so here's my take on this. And this is just my take. Um, New Age is. Um, a genre that, as you well know, or most of you know, came into being, you know, really uh, with a vengeance, like about 10 years ago when the New Age movement really popped, maybe even more, maybe it was 15 years ago. Um, but at that time, um, the people who were in that movement um, published a lot. And a lot of it was self-published because traditional publishing really didn't kind of get it. And I'm afraid that that's probably as true today as it was then. Um, for those of you who heard me read this, I, I would, if I were in a real workshop, and, and those of you who have been in them with me, you know the question that I'm going to ask. And that question is, what's this book about? Uh, because from this this um, query letter that is, you know, well written. I don't have any problem with the writing. It it reads New Age, which is cool. It should. Um, but I don't know what the story is about. Now I understand that this woman is a healer. Uh, is she has a you know some some cred in in healing, and that's cool. Uh, but I still don't know how that's going to translate onto the page. So are the, is this going to be a chapter book where you you know, um, 
are taught things? Is it kind of like a self-help New Age book? Um, is it a New Age book where this author wants to um, share her uh, transformative process with the reader? Um, I don't know. So that would be a memoir kind of, wouldn't it? I don't know what this is about. What I do know is that it's, it's filled with a lot of very long sentences and there's a lot of New Age jargon in it and I think that that's the problem with the query letter. Um, I think that if you want to get the attention of traditional publishing or just to forget traditional publishing, just readers, because I would think this would lend itself to an indie publication. I would think this um, author probably I would not encourage this author to go looking for an agent just because they take so few of these, um, but I, that's just my opinion. Um, but if she is going to publish this um, herself, I think that if you have page upon page of New Age verbiage, then you're really only going to be attracting New Age readers. Um, if you want to attract a broader base of readers because you want to maybe educate or enlighten or teach, then you really need to pare this down and use um, uh, language that bridges between, um, you know, um, convention and New Age, um, for lack of a better way of saying that. So um, this author needs to educate her readers, and um, if if she's looking to expand this base, if she's just looking to um, to um, hook New Age readers, you know, a book like this might, but I think she could get it a bit more clear on the page. And um, if she gets it clearer on the page in a query letter, chances are it will be clearer in, in the actual writing of it. Um, I will tell you this, that New Age, um, in terms of traditional publishing, I don't want to discourage anyone from trying because I think it's all a, a good lesson. Um, I think the more we pitch our, our stories to um, to the world out here, the better writers we become because we get feedback or we don't get feedback. Um, but it's all writing and that's all a good thing for writers if you're going to stay in this business for any length of time. I will say that New Age probably would only be picked up in traditional publishing if you had a great name associated with it. Um, and I really can't even think of who those people uh, are. Uh, Marianne Williams would be one. Is that her name? Um, but, you know, that kind of high profile. So I hope that this is helpful, and I would encourage this, this writer again to see if she's got the essence of this book in this query letter. And if she does, cool, then go to the next step. But if she doesn't, you might want to throttle back and start using some language that builds bridges from your world, your new um, age world, to the rest of the world so that you can attract a wider reader uh, ship if that's your goal. Uh, again, I hope that this is helpful. Until the next time, be well. Keep writing.